Hello guys and gals, we will be opening up this. I'm not sure exactly what you call this. I found it at Walmart. I was there today. Um, let's... It has three 10 card sword and shield packs and I believe this is a holographic um, Galarian Ponita, so which is why I bought it. And I figured that since um, these packs usually run about five dollars each, four seventy each, and there are three full packs in here, that's fifteen dollars worth of cards. And this was this was thirteen, I believe. And um, then there's, I believe this is written on the back of every single um, card pack. But anyways, this also comes with a uh, Garchomp coin. Which is pretty cool. I believe that's quite chomp anyways. Uh, I'm going to start by trying to pry up this corner right here. I don't know if this works. I haven't opened one of these before. Like ever. So. I have the scissors in case I get like stuck. Well. Uh, yeah. I think I'm getting it. Please hold just a bit. Okay, I finally got a corner. <laughs> Excuse me. I finally got a corner loose. So, um, do this. And, uh, let's see. Um, and it's stuck. I think. Maybe not. Yeah, it's stuck. I'm gonna have to work with it some more. There. Sorry, didn't do that on camera. I can't do it one-handed. I mean, I had to pry up all this plastic, and it's like, okay, yeah, you know. There really is a nice picture of Zashin on the back, though. I think that that's Zashin. I think Zashin is the sword doggo. Zamazenta is the shield one, I believe. But um, we'll see. Okay, I don't need the scissors anymore. I didn't need them in the first place. But okay, let's see. Okay, then there's the Garchomp. Oh, it's upside down. There's the Garchomp coin. And on the back it says Pokemon. Yeah, that's cool. Um, okay. This came this is the shiny Ponita. It was stuck in there pretty good. It was um and um this is a loot code. Yeah, so that means this comes with four loot codes instead of three, which is kind of cool. I'll put that aside. Um and we'll put that to the side too. Ponita is one of my favorite Pokemon, especially the Galarian version, so I had to pick this up. Anyways, um, we have three packs here to choose from. Lapras, um, that's Snorlax, I believe. I always think it's Garboder because of the color, but it, it's it's Snorlax. It's some Giganamax Snorlax, Giganamax um, Lapras, and um, Zacian. That's the Sword Doggo. Um, okay. I guess like this. Um, we will see here. If I can. Uh, I haven't opened up a, open a ten, opened up a ten card pack in a while. It's being stubborn. I have to pry it open. Okay, and we'll see what's in here. And yes, I know there's Pokemon cards in here. So we'll see which one. Getting close up. There we go. And let me get these in my hand a little better so they're easier to look at. Oh, we have a Goldeen here with Collect and Waterfall. That's pretty cool. I like Goldeen. Goldeen is like one of the classic um, first gen Pokemon. Roselli. I'm not sure what generation Roselli is, but um, Sweet Scent and Sting. Same amount of hit points as Goldeen. We now we have Ghastly with Fade Out. That's another Gen One, which is um pretty cool. I like the Gen One Pokemon. Uh, okay, Ponyard. Believe that he evolves into Bisharp. They have Cut Up. Ooh, that sounds brutal. And Metal Claw. But when you're made, mainly made of metal, made of metal, and have a big old knife for a hand, I bet that those moves seem fitting. Ooh, Sizzlepeed. I like this Pokemon. It was um, introduced Gen 8, if I'm not mistaken. Relentless Flames. You first meet it in... Um, 
I can't think of his name. The fire gem guy. Um, I want to say Cable or something like that. I know it starts with K. He's an old dude. Uh, you catch Pokemon there, and that's the first time you run into a Sizzlepede. Uh, Relentless Flame. I'm sure I'll think of it. Oh, this is cute. Doug Trio. I wonder what's happening over there. Maybe it's a traffic jam. And they're like, oh, we have to go under. Okay, that's fine. Anyways, uh, Mud Bomb. And this is a, the holographic card, I think, for the pack. Oh, no, it isn't. Because we also have a Caparaja with Dig Drain and Muscular Nose. Well, in all honesty, elephants do have prehensile trunks, which are very, very strong. Uh, we have here, we have some steel energy, and no, it isn't holographic. It's just the glare of the light and the colors and stuff. But yeah, so we have some steel energy, metal energy. I forget what I call it. I think I probably refer it to it as metal energy. Uh, Drizzile. Um, I believe that that's the middle evolution of um, Sobble. It goes Sobble, Drizzile, and um, Inteleon. I'm not sure. Shady Dealing. Oh, yeah, it says up there. Sobble. Okay. And Water Drip. That's cool. And speaking of Bisharp, we do have Bisharp with Charge Order and um, Slicing Blade. Again, when your hands are blades, then you pretty much... It makes sense. Here is Evolution Incense. That'd be, that's neat. I don't think I've ever heard of that. And a uh, loot card. We'll put it the loot card over there with the Pomita. And uh, we'll put these to the side. They're all going to go in the same, the same place anyways. Okay, now let's get this one opened up. Uh, oh, well, 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 well. I'm going to need to pry this one open too. All I can tell is that the first one is a water type of some sort, just because it says rain or something and it's blue. So, yeah. Or maybe an ice type. Oh, it's Snom. You gotta love the Snom. Snom is such a cute Pokemon. You guys, it has like little tiny feet underneath of it. It's so, so, it's so cute. Anyway, it is Snom with Ram. It's such a cute Pokemon. We have Grookey here. That is one of the Gen 8 stars, actually. Um, Fury Swipes. And we have Shelter, a Gen 1, um, with Water Splash. The shiny variety of Shelter is orange, actually. We have Maw. Oh, wow. Now that's cool. You very seldom see a picture of Maw with its mouth open. It actually has two mouths, doesn't it? Or wait, does the front head not have a mouth? I don't know. Find a friend and crunch. Technically, that should be a dark type move instead of a steel type, but still, that is a good move. Oh, wow. Okay. Wait a minute. Let me get the Galarian Ponita from up here. See, okay, we have this one, but if this one, I guess it's the same. Except. Because we have another one here that is, um, but they are different. Because this one is Cybolt, has Cybolt, and that one has Heal Pulse and Flop. That's that's so good for a Ponita. Flop. Okay. Uh, well, we we'll, we'll want to keep this one separate for now. There we go. Okay. Now, we have uh, here a shiny Sandicon, a Silly Cobra, actually. I almost said Sandiconda. That's the evolution, I think. Anyways, um, Sand with sand attack. I saw the sand and thought, oh, sand attack. Oh, yeah, whatever. Anyways, this is a silicobra, and but it is a um, holographic one. And we actually have nine tails here, and nine tails is just an amazing Pokemon. Another Gen 1 Pokemon, but another amazing one. Flame Cloak and Fire Mane. Wow. I didn't think I'd find a nine tails. I mean, I didn't think nine tails was like in Gen 8. Anyways, uh, psy Psychic Energy. Oh, wow. That is a throwback. Quillfish. Poison Point and Venoshock. 
And we have Poke Kid. I think they're they're really cute. Some people think they're kind of weird, but I like Poke Kid, so they're they're cute. Uh, there's one that's dressed like a Pikachu and one that's dressed like an Eevee. And it is kind of strange, but um, I don't know. I think that I think that cosplay is really big in Jap in Japan. It's big here. I mean, in in America too. So maybe there are people or kids that dress up like Pokemon. I mean, that could be the source for this. I don't know. But I, I personally think it's kind of cool. Some people think it's weird. I don't know. To each their own. Energy search. That's kind of a neat image for that. And loot code. We'll put the loot code over here with, we'll have the shiny pony to guard it. Ugh. And we're going to put these to the side. And there's to the side as well. Okay, that just leaves this one. I'm probably not going to be able to get this one open. Not easily anywhere. They make these really difficult to open. And I'm kind of glad because they that way they get, don't get opened by accident. Or by some kid just handling the package, you know? So, um, I'm going to have to jostle this one open. Actually, what I do is um, I can... Basically, if you pinch one of the sides, then, um, oh, it's going to be hard to see. Here, wait a minute. Let me see if I can, um, fix that. Is there a way to, uh, I forget. Is there a way to, uh, uh, let me try something. Okay, I don't know how to access the flashlight while this is going. So, uh, we're just going to move up a little bit. Okay, there we go. If you um, pinch one of the ends, you can see it starts it, it starts looking silver. And basically, you just pry that apart, and uh, that's basically how it works. But I can't do it one-handed, so I'm gonna have to pause this again in order to uh, get this opened up. Then it's pretty easy just to uh, oh, I'm gonna put the coin over there too. Now, okay. And it looks like we have an electric type here. I don't know if it'll be Pikachu or something. Static Shock and Roar. I don't think it's Pikachu. It's, um, something electric. I'm going to, uh, put that cardboard goes over there, even though I am on the different side of bed. Um, I still can't tell. Oh, Yamper. Good enough. With Roar, I've never really thought of Corgis as being big enough dogs to actually roar. They more like Yap. I like chihuahuas and stuff. But anyways, we have Yamper here with Roar and Static Shock, as we mentioned before. Anyways. And we have Clobopus with Bind. Um, uh, grapple Locked. It evolves into Grapple Locked. That's right. Remember there was some YouTuber that was really looking forward to getting a Grapple Locked or something. Finally did, and it was kind of a letdown because it really didn't live up to their expectation, I don't think. Cottony with Attach. Oh, we have Chewtol. Chewtol is found along Route 1, I believe. It evolves into Dreadnought, I believe, eventually. Bite and Water Gun. So it is basically the Gen 8 Squirtle, I believe. Well, in terms of Turtle. Not as a starter. Even though you do get it along Route 1. And if you wanted to, you could use it as a starter. I'm just saying, some people don't really like starting starting Pokemon. I mean starters, because, I don't know. Anyways, here's Rhyhorn with Stomp Off and Land Crush. I guess if it gets mad, it just stomps off. Okay, and that makes sense. And now we have Pincurchin. Um, Hop gets one of those, I believe. A Pincurchin. With shocking needles. That's just shocking. Oh, wow. Okay. We, we've got a thievel here. I, I, I'm looking. Okay. It, it's just a normal thievel. But still, a thievel is one of my favorites. Because it's, it's a fox, of course. But anyways. Thief and Darkness Fang. Thievel is so cool. I, I wonder if I'll find a um, Nicket. Nicket's name is um, basically... The British slang for steel is Nick. To Nick. Something is to steal it. And so the fox is known to steal things. I don't know. Anyways, fire energy. That's always comes in handy. Vitality band. 
Okay. Haunter. We got a Ghastly earlier. Now we have a Haunter, which is really nice. With Spooky Shot and Nightmare. And we have Thwacky. We got Grookey earlier. Maybe it was actually this this set? No, this set was Yamper, that's right. Okay. But um so we got Grookey and um Thwacky. So we just need the um Rillaboom in order to have the full evolution chain. Uh taunt and double hit. That's cool. And the loot code. Loot code goes over there with the Ponita. And that was three packs. And I'll put them to the side for now. They're all going to go in one pack anyways, because if they were different expansions, then I'd put them in different packs. But basically, just for the sake of argument, I'll just cram them all into one of these sleeves. Um, loot codes go over there somewhere. I have a whole stack of them. From when I basically went through and basically put every card I had in my collection, and I've fallen behind again. So I'm a few packs behind now. But that's okay. That was... I Whatever that was, I opened. I don't know what to even call that. It was just um, 31 cards, I believe, four loot codes, and a coin, which is plastic, of course, which is perfectly fine. So, yeah. Um... That was basically 35 cards for around $13, which I probably won't do again anytime soon due to financial issues, but it was good to do it once, and I really wanted this card right here. You know, sometimes it's good to pay a little extra to get a card you really want instead of leaving it up to chance, but I actually ended up getting another Ponita that wasn't shiny too, so that was kind of cool. Now if only I could get the Galarian Rapidash. But that will be this video. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching everybody. If you if you like this content, then make sure you hit the like button. And um, I've got all kinds of different content. I basically do tutorials on Sudoku, on uh, whatever else I did. Um, there was something else. Oh yeah, Sudoku um, fill-ins. How to do the fill-in puzzles. Um, I do enjoy making a variety of content. I am in the process of turning this into a more gamer-oriented channel. Most of the videos these days will be Pokemon Go because I like the quality. Um, I don't get the quality I like using my laptop over there because it's too old to actually support any kind of video recording software. So... Eventually, I will upgrade it and go more into gaming. We'll finish the Undertale run. We'll finish um, Grimm's Hollow. We'll play some Goat Simulator. Um, play some Heroes of Might and Magic. Play some Talisman, you know, all that good stuff. But all in due time. Anyways, thanks for watching, everybody. Appreciate all the support. And, as always, have a great day.